Good afternoon, and welcome to another exciting episode of Groovy Van Picker. Well, today I'm actually going to do two episodes. So this first one here, I'm going to discuss a yard sale that I went to. And at first it looked kind of like a humdrum yard sale, nothing too heavy. But then it got better. So... Um, I didn't get the whole thing. I made a, a, a little bit of a screw up there. You're going to see uh, like about two minutes of, of black. I, forget, I I didn't pause it right. Um, there's some chit chat in the background. But yeah, there's a cool car that pulled up to this yard sale too. I had to get some footage of because, well, it was a groovy car. So anyway, I found some stuff in the front, and some of that stuff, um, I didn't feel like lugging at home was too heavy. But then, there, much better. But then, they said, oh yeah, we got some stuff in the back too, take a look. So me, being the picker that I am, I went to the back, and... My eyes just about lit up like a Christmas tree. They had a motorcycle back there. Um, I don't know what they wanted for the motorcycle. She didn't even know. It, uh, But there's a, a crate full of parts for this thing that I picked up. So, um, come on. Join us and take a look. Okay, well, we are headed to another yard sale. Uh, not too far from where the one was yesterday. So, uh, alright, see you there. Okay, this must be the place. Okay, I'm digging this. <laughs> this is cool. I gotta take a gander at this. Just because. Oh, yeah. I have a bunch more to put in here, so. But you're right. Oh, a lot of records. Hello. What we need Hello. to Yeah, this is the only sign I've seen here. I didn't see no sign. That's the only sign we put up. I know it. I see that. Okay, I want this. Well, just start your step over here, buddy. Would you like a shopping bag, mister? Oh, I'm not going to spend that. Mm -hmm. 23 chest. Oh, yeah. Cuckoo clock. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. He's coming tomorrow. What do you want for all the records? $500. Oh, no. No, that ain't happening. Can't we um, put these in your wrap right after? Wow. Then you sold the No. Um, if you don't get rid of them, I'll take them for a fair price. Now, five for a dollar. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Two for a dollar? Oh, that's a better deal. <laughs> that's cute. All right. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. What else I see in there that I look at? Yeah. Yeah, but your box isn't. Here, give me the. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, what you got on this old radio and stuff? Oh, 
So this is a actual radio, right? That's oh, a scanner. That's a, it's a scanner. It's an old scanner. It doesn't do a whole lot for Reno, but it's still good for searching. This is a, a car stereo. Okay. How much would you offer for it? 20 bucks for both of them? Uh, I'm going to put this over here. I'm thinking, I'll, I don't know about 20, but I'll look at, I'll, I'll, that is like a, a regular. How about 15 for both of them? Let me see what you got here. I'll, I'll, I'll look okay, around. I'll look around. He's starting to file. Yeah. Are you a hammer? You a hammer? No. You're just talking about a scanner for. Yeah, I, I, I listen to uh, cops all the time. Um, I have a. Uh, uh, Someone was a savage the other day. It's kind of rough. Yeah. Where uh, you put it in the ground. Yeah. So that way, at the end of the day, you put your money down there, and yeah. the boss comes by and gets it later on. Hmm. You got a combination to it. For that, almost about right on the money. Oh my gosh, she wants a calculator. Okay. So I'm talking about this, the eight track, that, and these shotkeys here. Okay, so this was that was marked at three. Three dollars. The uh, eight track, that was like to be determined. So I'm thinking I give you twenty bucks for the whole shebang. Okay, let's take it. All right, sounds good. Let me get my loot. Let me get a bag for your little stuff. Okay. There we go. There you are. Okay. If I felt like loving that real to real home, I'd probably make you an offer on it. Oh. But wait, there's more. Uh, oh, jerry can back there. A couple of them. Tobar. Looks like some motorcycle parts. I gotta investigate. And a motorcycle. And, and some old fishing poles. And 
Yeah, this is kind of humdrum here. Oh, ammo can. Oh, look at this big old honker. Unfortunately, the weather was not kind to it. Small stereos. A projector. I gotta check out those motorcycle parts. Okay. Vavi Interesting. This is an old pickup, old Ford. And a trailer. What kind of bike this was? This is pretty groovy. Hello. Yeah, as you can see, it was, it was a groovy little yard sale, nothing heavy. It was inside of a house. And I picked up a few items out of it. Um, when I first got there, I saw this. It is uh, Roland Martin's helicopter lure. Still sealed in the package. Okay, I kind of looked at it. It was still sealed in the package. I interest peaked. And I looked up the comps. Well, I'll show you. 60 bucks one of them sold for. Okay, that's actually what one sold for. And another one sold for like 35 and there's one that sold for 28 Not bad for a $3 bill. And so that went into my pile of stuff. And then I found little tchotchke items, like these things here. Um, they're little tchotchkes. One of them shaped like a little toilet. And they have like 50 cents a piece. Little tobacco jar. And I also found this, uh, Stereo equipment for a car stereo. It says stereo verb. Um, couldn't find any comps on it, but I threw it in there, made a, made a little package deal. And then I found this car stereo groovy eight track player. It says Stereo 8. Now, anytime you can find a vehicular 8-track player on the cheap, snatch that son bitch up, chop, chop. You will be glad you did. Because a lot of people are doing restos on really old cars, and they want the 100% original shit. So, yeah. So, there's a little pile of stuff here that the 8-track player and whatnot sent me back 20 bucks. Not too shabby, okay? But that's when they said, oh, go ahead and take a look in the backyard. We got some more stuff. Well, when I got to that backyard, I saw a few things, jerry can and whatnot, then... I saw it. Oh, the motorcycle. Now, I know the motorcycle is going to be out of my price range. Because she was actually looking it up. But, there was a crate full of parts for this old Triumph sitting right there on the floor. I picked them up, looked at them, and I saw a Smith's uh, tachometer. A speedometer in it. Okay? 
is dirty as hell. But Smith's, it's for a uh, BSA or a Triumph. I have had very good luck with those. About a little less than a decade ago, I was out poking around. And I found a few of those. Speedometers, odometers, or not odometers, um, tachometers and whatnot. I found a few at a yard sale. I think I paid like five bucks for three of them. And this is back before I had my smartphone. So at that time, I just had to guess. But being a motorcycle and car guy, I took a chance for five dollars. And I took them home. I looked them up. I'm like, hmm, not bad. 150, 100. So I started putting them on eBay. I got the first one listed. Had to buy it now like 150 bucks. Before I finished listing the second one, the first one was bought and paid for. <laughs> they all sold. Like one was like 150, 100. I mean, I mean like, you know, what, 350 bucks that day. Off the five dollar bill, three old speedometer uh, odometers, or three speedometers and tachometers. I can't remember which ones they were. One of them actually went backward instead of normal. Uh, that's the way they were designed. So this one here is a lot more rough condition. But I'm not so sure I'm gonna get 150 bucks out of it. Nice, but you know what? Twenty bucks for a basket of shit like that, and that's in it. And the basket has all kinds of stuff. Has a uh, headlight, with the old school headlight with a switch on it. Plus, it has the uh, a pair of uh, the ears. To hold them on. Okay. Those. Are desirable. <clears throat> this here. Is a tail light bracket. License plate bracket. Off of that Triumph. Even old motorcycle. This is uh, the last tag date on this. Is 1979. 40 years ago. So even old motorcycle license plates are very collectible. This one from the 70s, I can probably get a few bucks out of. Okay. Not going to be my retirement, but, you know, a few bucks is a few bucks. Even this groovy mirror. Well, I might keep it. When they kind of sticks way out, you know. For the older bikes. It was a small bike. It was like a little, little 250 or something. Not even a 250. This is the emblem that goes on the side of the tank, or I think, yeah. And then, where I put it? There's an oil tank. Not a high dollar item, but still sellable. That was in that lot, too. So, yeah. And I also have an exhaust for this motorcycle. Complete tailpipe muffler that should be a couple of bucks as well. So, So that concludes this week's swashbuckling episode of Groovy Van Picker. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, come on back for part two, um, where I show you the yard sale and the Google troughs. Like I said, pretty decent day.
so far with what I've got. And I'm happy with my purchase. All right. Late.